As we know, it's going to be Valentine's soon, so the Valentine's sets have started rolling out. This is a quick and subtle Valentine's set you can do at home or in the salon. Welcome to my channel. It's been a minute since I put out my last tutorial. Um, to my new subscribers, my name is Lydia. Welcome to my channel once again. And um, yeah, so today, just like I said earlier, we're going to be doing a very cute Valentine set. So I've started already, um, just as you can see in the video, and I'm going to make out an almond shape. I did apply um, coffin nail tips earlier on, and uh, my nails are prepped. However, they are shiny because I applied peel off base, and that's just going to help take off this set for my very next set. Next, I'm going to come in with a hand file and I'm going to go over my already cut out shape. And this is just going to help give me a slimmer and cuter almond shape. And then I'm going to do that to all of the nails. Alright, so in this video, I really want to show you guys my application process and then also how I file my nails with the e file and with the hand file as well. So, first off, we're going to start with the application. Um, I picked up medium-sized bead and I just placed um, a little above where the nail tip is and then I'm going to pat and feather that bead all the way down to the free edge and then as I do this I'm going to clean up on my side and sides sorry and make sure that the bead um, stays on the nail and isn't like coming out now the next bead I placed um, above where the previous bead stopped and then I'm just going to flush or feather it into the rest of the nail and um, I'm coming in now with my last bead which is the cuticle bead and the smallest of all and I'm just going to place push into the cuticle area just a little bit pat 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 and blend into the rest of the nail just like that and then I'm going to check that my nail is clean from all angles and all sides and um, yeah so we're going to move on to the next nail so the next nail the same thing picked up a medium sized bead however because this is a much broader nail i feel like i should have gone in with a little um it'll be a little larger than the one i used but i later on go in to patch that up and actually this bead was going to be perfect for you know this section of the nail but i, I ended up pulling or over patting the bead and then I ended up bringing out excess so the next bead I pick up which is which was almost the same size as I picked up before and this is because this is the middle finger and this bead um, sorry this nail is much broader and then I'm going in with my last bead pat and push into the cuticle area and then just you know pat and blend into the rest of the nail making sure that you know like the um side walls are neat and i do not have products peeling or flooding my cuticle area now if you look at this nail from the side we can see that it's a bit too flat towards the free edge so we're going to come in now with a much um, smaller bead more like a patch up bead and just fill up the rest of the free edge so we can have a nice structure on the nail so um, i'm going to show you guys once again on the thumb again the thumb is much bigger than the um than any of the nails actually so um, you want to be very precise with your bead placement and application so I went in with a bead that is much larger than the rest of the beads I would normally work with but still preferable for the thumb area and I flushed that all the way down to the free edge I'm going in now with my second bead which is like a medium sized bead pat and blend into um, the rest of the nail making sure that the bead goes where it's supposed to and then i'm going now with my last bead the cuticle bead which i push and pat into the into the cuticle area sorry and then i just gently begin to flush it into 
the rest of the nail now you'd also notice that i have a little bit of like a space or like a missing just like a depth i'm going to patch that up again with um, a very small bead and this just concludes my application and generally um makes the entire like um application easy and then it would, it would make my next step which is filing much much easy because i have applied the nail the product as neatly as possible so for my filing i do the side walls first of all of the nails and when i do this i make sure that my file is you know sitting or like staying straight on the nail it's not bending underneath the nail it's not you know like curving in any way it's that is staying straight on the nail next i go over the body of the nail and you can see there are some spots where the file did not hit those are like irregularities which i will correct with the hand file just like i'm doing so i file over the surface of the nail to create like a smooth um surface before i go over with my e-file which will take care of the cuticle area and then just sort of like rebalance the apex so um i'm using my sanding band which is what I'd, I'd normally use and i'm going if i believe about 7000 rpms i'm going over the cuticle area first before i now start to file um the apex area which is what i'm doing now and then i'm just bringing down the bulk of this nail and trying to flush and blend and like just have like a really nice structure overall on the nail and i'm going to do this i've done this to all of my to the rest of my nails on um sorry off camera and i'm just showing you guys how and i'm just showing you guys how i file so um i'm going to repeat the same thing again on my thumb i go over the the cuticle area first before going over like the body of the nail and then you know doing the apex um you know like rebalance and restructure the entire nail so it looks really nice and cute and it doesn't look like bumpy or lumpy in any way so um when i'm done with this i go over my shape with my hand file once again shaping is like really important to me so i go over my shape with my hand file before i buffer i do buffer off camera though before i buffer and then go have my hands washed and ready for nail art For the nail art i'm coming in with pink polish and i'm going to do some really cute swirly lines um so you want to exaggerate the parts that curve okay so the parts of the of the of the swirly line that curves is where you want to sort of exaggerate and give like a certain fullness to which is what i'm doing and um this liner brush now all my liner brushes have been um how do i say they've been like um okay there's a word i'm looking for they've been retouched i'll just i'll just say retouched but that's not the word i'm looking for <laughs> they've all been retouched um by me this is not how they've they've come i've like cut some of the hairs off so they they are perfect for me so the liner brush i'm using to create these bold lines are going to be or are different sorry from the liner brush i'm going to use to create the wispy um lines so i'm just doing that too i'm just doing this some bold swirly lines to all the four fingers and i'm just trying to make sure that they connect so that's another tip for when you're doing nail art or when you're doing like swirly lines like this um the the the, the, the artwork is cuter or the nail art is cuter when the lines look like they're sort of flowing and connecting to each other on each nail so yeah um like i said exaggerate the parts that curve you want to put more fullness to it so now i'm coming in with another brush a much slimmer um liner brush and i'm going to add like um like a wispy effect on the parts that i exaggerated or on the swirly parts that i exaggerated and i'm just going to do like a nice wispy effect just to give you know the design a bit more depth and more you know cuteness you know the swelling lines are cute but they are cuter when there's like the whole um 
OSP effect yeah and then so after that I'm going to do like a little heart um, on the middle finger just on the middle finger now this set is perfect and subtle for somebody who so if you have a client that doesn't exactly want a valentine set but does want a valentine set this will be perfect because it doesn't actually scream valentine set but it does give you know like a little touch of valentine and it's very very cute so you can add a little bit of heart if you don't want to have them um, sorry to add the heart you can add like a little um star dots 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 and then after that i just cure it in the lamp apply top coats to all of the nails and this is the final result <laughs> Let me know what you think about this set. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye.